Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic 2024 and the start of this year has been treating you well. Unlike myself, who has been down with the cold for five days. I digress. Today's video we're going to be covering a very quick tutorial on a widget I've created for you for your stream. It's a free timer that you can style in any way that you like and it's completely browser based which basically means there's no pesky OBS add-ons and there's no installation for it and you can use it with any streaming software. So first of all head on over to timer.colinhorn.co.uk and you'll be met with this landing page. The preview of your timer is on the right hand side and the controls for the customization are on the left. So all you have to do is set the hours, minutes and seconds you wish to have and then if you want the timer to count up or down you can select the toggle. Afterwards select the font you think will suit the look of your stream. We're going to go for a nice calligraphy font here called Lobster. After this you can then select the main colour of the font and then the background colour as well for the timer. However if you wish for the background colour to be transparent just leave it as the default amount. Then we can change the font size, this is relative to the size of the browser source within OBS and finally you can then choose whether or not to give it rounded corners. Next, click on the copy button to grab your URL and then head on over to your streaming software. Once you're in your streaming software, you're then going to want to add a new browser source. Once you've named that source, you then want to paste the URL from the website at the top set your height and your width in this example we're going to be going with 800 by 400 and finally you want to make sure you tick refresh browser when scene becomes active this means that each time a scene with the timer of the source itself becomes a hidden it then starts the clock from its desired time and it's as easy as that that is literally it within two minutes you've already got a new timer on your stream however let's go for a little bit of a bonus tutorial if you want to use this timer for say for example a subathon there is a way around it and what you'll need is to load up a stream automation software of your choice. In this example we're going to be using Atom. Once we've loaded it up the first thing we want to do is go ahead and set up a variable. This is going to be the overall amount for our timer so make sure that we select whole number and in this example we're going to go with 10 minutes which is 600 seconds. So if you were to do say a 24 hour stream it would be 86,400, just for you to know. Once we've done this, we will then need to go and set up four different rules. I know it sounds complicated, but there's a reason for this. These four rules are set timer start, timer function, variable reduce, and our manipulator will be for the, our new subscription. So the last one is called new subscription. So firstly, the set timer start is going to be the initialization and to trigger the timer countdown. So once we have selected OBS to begin streaming, we then want to call the rule timer function. Then we want to set the browser source properties that we have in OBS to use the variable we set in Atom. So inside the URL parameter we want to replace the time amount with our global variable timer. Once we have done this we then want to refresh the browser source so the timer is accurate to the amount stated in Atom. Next we go into the timer function. What this rule does is check the variable amount and to see if it is equal to zero. If it is not, we will then want to call another rule, variable reduce. Inside variable reduce, we want to have the ability to change the timer variable, so we want to subtract one. And afterwards, we then want to call another rule with a delay of one second going back to the timer function. This causes a loop allowing these functions to count the timer down until it hits zero. Once it's done, it will be finished. And finally, we have our manipulator for adding one more time. We want to make sure that we have selected Twitch as our device and the trigger type is a subscription. Once we do that, we then add a value to our global variable. Much like the set timer start rule, we then set the browser source with this new updated amount and refresh the browser source. Now, I must warn you, in using this technique, there will be a flash of the timer updating. That is because it's a browser source, it's a web page refreshing. But for me in this scenario, it's not exactly the end of the world because it's kind of nice knowing when your timer's been updated in a subscription. I've seen many times people missing it and in the end, they don't know if their timer is actually up to date. This means then at least you see on the screen there's a flash, it's updated and you're good to go. But anyways guys, that's it very much from me today for this very simple browser timer. If you like what you've seen in this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you want to see more gear reviews and stream tutorials, please subscribe to the channel. And if you have any other ideas for the features of the timer to be included on the widget, or any other ideas for different widgets, please let me know down below in the comments and I'll get back to you on that one. However, until then, I'll catch you in the next one. I'll see you.